Old Snailock here again with another episode of Old Snailock's Workshop. Today I'm working on my Singer sewing machine. It's a Singer Model 66 and it's an electric drive unit and it has a problem. The drive belt, even though it's still working, is pretty well gone. It's very loose, got some major splits on it. So what I want to do is replace it. So I'm going to uncoil the foot pedal, get that away from the drive. Right now the only tools I think I need are this straight bit screwdriver. And that's to take the cover off. I got a new belt. Got some new needles. And a replacement bulb. It's the same base, different bulb size, but it's the same base, same wattage. We're going to try that and see how that works. But while I'm working on the belt, I'm going to take these other items and set them over here on the bench safely out of the way, hopefully. I think the first thing I need to do is to take off this guard. There's a single screw right here that I believe holds the bobbin winding unit and this little shield on. I'm going to very carefully take that screw loose. Huh? Looks good. I'm going to put the component parts here in this tray. Little screws captured in behind that bit right there, which appears to be adjustable. By loosening that screw up, I should be able to make that drive wheel drop down and run against the outside of that belt housing.
by loosening that screw. By loosening that screw, I'll be able to rotate this. And make it so that when it's down, it will engage more. <clears throat> It'll engage more strongly with the drive wheel. But I don't know if I even need to do that. But it is kind of interesting to note that there's an adjustable spot in that right there. Big thing I wanted to do is make sure that that screw can't come out. Looks like it's pretty well captured by that little adjustable linkage there. So I'll put that over in my favorite spot to put things. I buy mushrooms. We seem to like a lot of mushrooms here at the house. And they come in these little plastic trays. And after about the first four or five, I thought, boy, that looks like it's something handy to have around. So I decided to start keeping them. I have now decided that I can no longer keep them until I wear some of them out. the old belt. There's the new one. The guy at the sewing machine store said just to take it and stretch it. So it goes over the pulley. And that's supposed to work just fine.